bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Oh man, am I uh, so happy that you all love this game as much as I do because we're right back at it and it's time to play uh, chapter four. I had to like count one, two, three, four. Old ribs of recipe for disaster. Let's get into it. Now, old ribs, I, a little bird uh, told me that that's a, this is going to be a reference uh, to a popular... Uh, television show, I believe. <clears throat> a, decala a, decade, a decade ago, this place was a happening spot. Teens, college students, and families couldn't get enough of Bob's legendary sticky ribs. Unfortunately, as the years passed, uh, the area around the restaurant gradually began to fall into decline. To make matters worse, a notorious crime family moved in and began putting pressure... Is this going to be an, like, uh, like an FPS? Am I going to have to like take to the streets to defend my restaurant? Because I will. To make matters worse, a notorious crime family, okay, that naturally took its toll on Bob's health and well-being. Four months ago, he passed away. Oh, Bob, no. Bob's memory, that's what we're calling this episode. Oh, slash old ribs. Bob's son, Jamal, dreams of going to college, but has been left to pick up the pieces, and truth be told, is completely out of his depth, as would I be, Jamal, I feel for you. Bob was good, a god, when it came to ribs. But it seems he's out of touch with reality. For the fast, last few years of his life, the place is a mess, the menu is outdated, and his choice of staff is questionable. I gotta fire people. Last week, Jamal even had to sell some tables just to be able to keep up with the rent. This is the last chance to bring Bob's... Do we have to pay rent in this? Okay. Uh, to bring it back to its glory days, the odds are stacked against you, but you have a master of defying the odds. You are a master. Me. Spigioli. Um, Vito Spigioli, that is. Help save the restaurant and secure Jamal's future. So our conditions are, sell 10 dishes at 100 Oh, we gotta get a pretty fancy restaurant going on. 50 popularity, not a big deal for me. I'm a professional recipe for disaster player. 12 seated tables at the same time. So massive restaurant we gotta go. So this might be a two-part video, to be honest. Bonus, one day without a negative review. Can we do that? One day without a negative review. That's the bonus. So, I mean, we can wait. Once we've got all this, we can wait until we get that bonus. Uh, the losing conditions are Jamal quits or is fired, and don't be in debt ever. Never go below? Don't be in debt ever. So I can never go negative. Oh, that's going to be hard. Okay, I'm going to lose this for sure. I tend to... Guys, I tend to go in debt. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. First of all, we've got three fryers. We've got a fridge, one thing. We've got a bench in here, too. I assume that's for sitting down. We've got some trash here that we're going to have to sell for $50. That's $100 gone right there. We have basically two spots. A nice bathroom, though, if a little bit weird. Yeah, these are weird. This is going to get redesigned, but that's not going to. That's not a problem because we already have it basically built. But, like, yeah, that's a you know pretty bad uh, washroom. Okay, so then what we need to do is obviously expand ASAP, but let's get a couple of good days under us first. So what do I have as far as, like, uh, appliances and stuff? We got a stove, and it's flashing red. I bet we need for searing. Okay, so what's on our menu? We've got golden ribs. Yum, yum, yum. Fried Charlie. Oh, this is all great. Mama's dish. Ground beef, garlic, clams. Ugh. House of Ribs. This is going to be our si signature dish. If we can get this popular, this is going to be what we need. And so we do need unsafe raw. Yeah, I understand that. Um, so the oh, missing ingredients. Oh yeah, so we're, we just got to go. We got to get all the ingredients. It looks like we have some here, but uh, let's make sure that that's set. Which refrigerator capacity is at full already. So let's get a double door fridge. Then let's sell this one. I feel like that's going to give us a fair amount of space. We're going to need a stove. Let's splurge a bit. No, let's not splurge. We got to be careful. <laughs> I just was like, let's splurge immediately. Okay. So let's go here. Put the stove there. Click M to move these. Just get this all, all this kind of stuff organized. All right. We just kind of want it organized. Okay, folks. Let's put this over one. Okay. If we will go over even one more. Uh, hang on. We can do something like this, though. There, that's going to get us that, and we're going to get another shelf in basically right there. Then a countertop, but I don't know how important the countertop is, to be honest. We're going to add a countertop dish in there. I just know it. Um, this is a fairly large restaurant, so we're going to be able to get some more stuff in here in a bit. But I think that's good for now. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. The, uh, the solid content special here. Is it not? Oh, heavens. <laughs> Okay, I didn't... Oh, I see. Oh, weird. It just kind of like... Uh, I, I guess I couldn't see it animating down there. 
I see. Okay, yeah, I got I got a little thrown off there. I got a little thrown off. Things went a little wonky there for a second. Let's move these into the center of the space, like here. I mean, really, you'd have a tight space, right? You'd have a tight restaurant, and then it would be there'd be a pivot or somebody who's bringing things around. Okay, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So we've got some countertops, which could be useful, uh, but I guess not. We, we also don't have any dishwashers needed. I, I wonder if that's something that's going to be added. We, we can ask them later because, uh, believe it or not, I have uh, one of the people that works on the game actually popped into the chat of one of my live streams, and, and so I'm hoping to get a couple more answers from them. So feel free to comment down below if you have any, um, uh, any ideas that you'd love to see. Is that a fancy cross? Fancy wooden chair. 70 bones. But it's worth it for the uh, the bonus you get in the space. Okay, let's duplicate that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they can walk around that. That's the problem. Is I just don't know if you can actually get past that. Let's place it. We can always sell it. We can always sell it. And let's duplicate it again. Right up against this wall here. Okay, and then sell that. And, oops. Sell that. So if you have any, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions for the uh, for the fine developers there, just let me let me know. Put them in the comments down below here, and, and I know we've been having as you know, I hope you've been having obviously as much fun as I've been having with this game because oh man, is this awesome! Now the best thing to do about early popularity gains, we still have twenty five hundred doubloons. I think yeah, we're gonna need ingredients obviously, but the best thing to do, oh I like the accent wall, the red and the wood is nice, uh, is to get your your um, you want your uh, your whatever your uh, the ambiance to be maxed out. You want it to be very green because you're gonna start getting big boosts in your happiness in the area very quickly, like a TV on the wall. You know what I mean? Now, do you have an idea of the uh, the the reference that was being made in this show? The show, the TV show that this is kind of based off of. Well, a little bird told me that it was a little bit based off of House of Cards. Oh, that was not a big boost. One modifier plus one in a radius of six. Okay. Actually, yeah, we want to sell that. Let's sell that and get something for a because that's a this is a five and a, a radius of three. So that's going to get me a bit more of a boost. The TVs are actually quite powerful. Five with a radius of eight. So I, I think we just need more TVs, and they're only 180 doubloons. Those are kind of overpowered a little bit, in, in my opinion, but I am not complaining. You will not hear me complain one more time. Oh, yeah, let's get some napkin holders on all the things, just because it looks good anyway, and then it creates little pockets of maxed-out ambiance. Ambiance. Now, this is a fair amount of people, right? Like, that's good enough for our first day, I would argue. Um, let's get rid of... Let's sell this for now, because we'll get it back right away. Let's sell... Like, it was great. It was a great attempt, you know, uh, Bob. But it's just... Bathrooms are just not your forte, my friend. Let's move that over here. Move uh, this guy over to here. And let's move you over to here as well. And we'll move that. We'll move this. Um, and then let's get that wall back up there. So we'll go wall right across here. And then restroom, stall door. Ooh, it's kind of hard to get that stall. You got to sneak the stall, the stall doors in a bit, I find. Okay, there we go. Get that wall back up. And I don't know if we need that other washroom just yet, the other toilet just yet. But we could, I guess. All right, let's duplicate. Oop, no, let's, let's duplicate it. I don't know what it gives you, but... I think the bathrooms are just too powerfully negative. Minus 20 in a radius of 10. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These things are not messing around. Okay, let's move uh, this around, I guess. I don't know. We could put that here. We could sell this one and move this one to, like, out there. And let's get some sinks in here. Something like that looks pretty good. Let's move this. All right, so let's bring the walls back up, and now how are we feeling? I kind of like this uh, wallpaper. I do. I, I like it. Um, I don't know if I've seen, have I seen that before? Uh, the, the flower wallpaper, is that new? No, oh, I guess it's been there the whole time. I can't, I can never tell. But we're going to keep the wallpaper up in honor of Bob. And then the wooden outer wall, of course, that's nice. And then we'll just get that one painted the same. And these will be painted the same as well. 
that's to honor Bob. This is the way he wanted it. He gets the floral uh, pattern and a little bit of exposed wood siding on the side there. So we've got two turlets. We've got our, uh, we didn't do much with the basic recipe. Although we do need to find out why they're not delicious. You know what? Okay, let's do a little bit of editing. Recipe editor. Let's go into our recipe editors here. Fried Charlie could probably use uh, some spices. Do we have anything in stock? A mountain storage, 12. So let's do chili, fried chili Charlies. That's what these would be called. Chili Charlies. Okay, save. That's good enough. Let's just do one. It's spicy now. People like that. I mean, I like it. Golden ribs have buttery tomatoes seared and then a whole crap ton of meat and just like put on top. What can we do with this? Let's take a look. What's our, what are our options? What about some veggies in there? What if the sear has some seared, um, I'm thinking barbecue. Like is seared corn a thing? Let's do seared corn. And let's make sure we get some uh, garlic in there. That's my Italian roots coming back out. And then let's get some uh, smoked paprika on the, on this. And then, and, and our sear, our vegetable sear should have something like some, uh, some, uh, some, some parsley. I don't know, like plating or something. I don't know. Let's see. So we've got it. It's fried. It's seared. It's spicy. It's fresh. It's decadent and it's buttery. I mean, golden ribs. Come on, get out of here. All right, save. Okay. What else do we do? So we got that. We got golden ribs. Yeah. We're going to leave that house of ribs. Now, House of Ribs has deep-fried bananas, <laughs> brown onion, chili powder, honey, and pink shrimp mixed with beef, butter, pork ribs, ground beef. That's, there's no ribs. Well, there's pork ribs, I guess, and there's some ground beef. Uh, okay. I guess the House of Ribs is good. That seems pretty cool. I, I would eat this. Uh, the banana's a little weird. The shrimp-fried bananas. House of... Ribs and bananas. Just to like, just to highlight the fact that it's bananas. Because here's what I think. I think the young'uns are going to come to this restaurant and they're going to be like, oh, what? <laughs> Wait, let me, you're just deep frying some bananas? Oh, mama's dish, some ground beef, garlic, and clams. Let's get some, uh, uh, it's deep fried. So I think some like Mediterranean seasoning in that would be good. And some smoked paprika. There we go. All right. So these spices, it's making a lot of spicy things. We might have some people complain about the spice levels. Let's keep everything, okay, used in recipes. Anything used in, uh, like, lots of recipes. Like, let's go, like, keep 10. Oh, whatever, keep 10 of all this stuff. Who cares? You know what I mean? Keep 10 tomatoes. Uh, we don't need uh, lots of T-bones. Let's go down to seven, like, six T-bones. Keep some room in the fridge here. We have 100 storage capacity. So we're doing okay so far. 10 of these. Oh, that's dry storage. Keep, pay attention, pay attention. Pink shrimps. I mean, whatever, like, you know, it's only on one dish, but okay, parsley, one dish, but if we keep it at 10, like, I don't know, again, it's like one of those things of like, who cares? We'll keep 10, we have the storage capacity. This we gotta be careful with, refrigerated is not ideal. Okay, I'm just gonna go plus 10 and see what happens. It's 93. So doesn't that mean refrigerated storage capacity is gonna get packed? If I just go plus 10s on everything? I just, honestly, I don't wanna like think about all this. <laughs> Okay, let's lower our bananas and beef sirloin orders and our clam orders. Just so we don't get into problems here. Let's see if that's good enough. Folks, we've got decent ambiance. Let's push it a little further over here. Decorations. A vase ficus over here in the corner. Oh, yeah, that's putting a nice green spot in there. Let's get something over this area here if we can. Oh, lights, of course. Let's get some lights in here because look at that. You're getting a six out of six. Huge, huge bonuses here. Fives and fours. Let me do these chandeliers. They're a little, it's a little ornate though. You know what I mean? It's like candles and stuff. I mean, I guess it's not. It's kind of a weird, uh, you know what? It's fine for a thing. And it just makes the ambiance so like thickly green that I think people are going to be really happy with this place. We got 1100 doubloons left. I am not going to spend it to buy this plot and expand this restaurant, but I think quick expansion is, is going to be a good idea. We're going to get plot two to expand the, the kitchen and then just do a big old expansion down here. But uh, I don't think we're going to do that ahead of time. Oh, look at this area. This is cool. Let's get some cars. Can we? Oh, if we buy that plot, do we get these cars? Can I just drive the cars around the city? Clean up the town? Get rid of the crime? I think we're good here, folks. We've got our recipe. We've got that. Let's open. 
And who do we have showing up? We've got Vito and Jamal. Now, I think we just have just Vito and just Jamal. So let's take a look at Jamal here. Number three on the fryer. Love it. You are our fry cook. Okay. We've got a stove stovesman. So we've got that guy and a countertop person. So what else do we need? We don't have oven or grill. Do we need the grill? We don't need the grill, right? Missing ingredients. When stuff's showing up. What are we missing? Beef and clams. Oh, no, it's because our... So I see what happens. It'll fill it up just to capacity, and then sometimes some things just won't get filled. So uh, unsafe or decadent. So we need another fridge. Let's just buy another fridge just to offset that problem. Because uh, that should be enough to get us another uh, storage space. Whew, it's pricey. Okay. All right, so I think Jamal, if I'm not mistaken here... Out of building mode, please, and thank you. There we go. I think Jamal is definitely our... Wait, pause, everybody, pause. Jamal is definitely back of the house, maybe with a bit of serving. We give him, like, one table. He's lazy. Okay. A low, slow at cooking and loves to take long breaks. Literally. Tends to annoy others. Okay. Vito's not going to like that, and he's a genius, so he's going to level up fast, and he likes frying. Maybe, just, he, maybe he just fries and has, like, a table. And then we'll give more to Vito. But Vito tends to freak out quickly. <laughs> okay, let's see what our staff is like. We can hire Bridget Sullivan or Tracy Dixon. Weird outfit. I guess that's a fine outfit. I don't know anything about passion. I mean fashion. But she has a passion for serving. Could be good. Serving three, charisma five, cleaning one, sickly. And infect others. Don't like that. This is a Bridget's really powerful. But once we get a power up, we could take a power up that maybe takes us away. Actually, I don't know. It only takes away hated things, doesn't it? She loves serving, so she'll level up there. She's a party monster. Tends to arrive late and leave early. <laughs> oh man, this is tricky. Maybe we get both of them. I don't know. She's just a really power, very char charismatic. And a really powerful server, like really going to run the front of house nicely. And could even throw her on the fryer if we needed to. We're going to get Bridget. We're going to see what happens with Bridget. I just don't like... A tends to arrive late and leave early. We could get both of them. You want to just get both of them and see what happens? Done. All right. Uh, add group. Front of house. Okay. And then this is... Cook peeps. Safe group. All right, so you're front of house, and Bridget, you're going to be front of house. You guys are the cook peeps. And let's go to uh, cancel. Let's go to uniform editor. Front of house. No, wait, you know what? Actually, let's think about this. You know what? I think that the front of house, I think that they have, this is good. I think that they just wear their own clothes. It's a rib joint, right? It's casual like that. So I think I like our uniforms so far. Okay. Unpausing briefly for a second. Let's set up some cleaning areas. We're going to go back here. And we're going to keep it. I think we found a lot of uh, uh, bonuses from going high. So let's go for... Um, shoot, I can't remember. They're all just kind of ones on everything so far. Uh, we're going to create a new cleaning area here. Now, who is our best server? Hang on. Let's get out a cleaning area. There, she's shown up. Okay. Uh, Serving two and loves it. Serving three and loves it. Cleaning one. They're both cleaning one. So it really doesn't matter at this point. So let's assign this to Bridget as two. Tracy is one. And then we're going to go Tracy one, Bridget two here. Same thing. 70%, maybe even 80% threshold. We want them cleaning a lot because it gets us a boost, early boost in popularity, which then fills more tables. Okay. Good. Now, tables. Let's go Bridget, Bridget, let's go Tracy, who loves it, Tracy. Actually, and let's have seconds here. And I'm actually going to put seconds of Jamal here. So, because I kind of like the idea of him coming out and checking, like, how are you guys liking your food and stuff like that. Uh, let's get this with old Vito, who loves it. And we can put like a second here of Tracy, just in case any of that needs to be get done. We got Vito here. We've got um, Jamal, Jamal. And let's put a second as Vito here and here. 
And maybe Bridget can go back and do a little cooking. I don't know. Let's see. We're splitting up the work a lot, which could be good, could be bad. All right. We've unpaused. Let's turn this off. And let's take a look. Let's see if anybody shows up. We have a lot of staff. We hired a lot of people. So I'd very much like it if some people showed up. 15% popularity. Is there a way to do like a, a campaign or something? Or like, go, you know, go outside and be like, hey. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got two coming. I'd love to just step outside and just like tell people to come in. Why is that highlighted? What's going on here? Okay, we got food coming in a bit. Storage mode. I don't know. That's just highlighted. The toilet's just going to be ever highlighted. We don't know what's going on there, but we're, we're it's okay. We're, we're okay. Run along ground beef. Cannot pronounce it. House of ribs and bananas. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, so we need to fill these. We do have a bit of room in the freezer now. 140. So we should be okay at 11. Oh yeah. Any second now, we're going to be fine. Pow. There we go. Everything's happy. We've got enough storage for everything. Let's speed up time here and observe as they make... What are we doing? Italian dining table is ordered. A fried chili, Charlie? Oh, I love it. Jamal performed very poorly. That's okay. We're just getting started here. We, you got to have faith. You got to have faith in them. Golden ribs and house of ribs and bananas. Okay. Good. Vito's already pu pulling up his weight here. I heard the ding of a, a newly arrived dish. Honestly, here's the thing. The customer or the, the, the staff is so cheap. Uh, in this game. They're very affordable. And so, uh, since labor is low, I think... Okay, can she get through there? I hope so. Since labor is nice and low, I think it's okay to have this many staff on, on staff. I'm just hoping this hasn't caused a problem. She goes in there, gets, it, gets something from the fridge. She's doing a bit of cooking. She's probably just helping out Jamal. I'm not seeing any major builds and stress going on. Okay, I just watched... Um, who is that, Tracy? Yeah, I just watched Tracy walk through these, so I don't think there's a problem there with uh, with our, uh, our footprints. With our pathing, so to speak. It might just... It looks a little cluttered, but I mean, restaurants are cluttered. You know, restaurants tend to be busy. Could we get more people in here if we did less four buys? Like a, like a whole bunch of two two by two tables? I'm not sure. Look, we're just trying to make money so that we can expand our, our restaurant. Build mode, 750 for that one. There's just, do we own all this? I think we own this. Okay, good to know. Out of build mode. Oh, she's got something to say here. Tracy, you wanna go just talk to her? I know you're cleaning, but let's figure out what she says. I'm sensing a great deal of dark energy emanating from one of your staff. The restaurant can only prosper without them. Um, yeah, great. Thanks for that. I'm not gonna do anything about that, but that did. But Vito did not like that, so he's taking a break. I don't know that noise. That noise is like wee 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 wee, and it's like it bums me out. But it also doesn't look like like the stress meter was okay. The break area is ugly. Okay, we got to make a break area. How do you make a break area? Also, we need a cleaning area. Let's put, uh, Vito hates cleaning, so let's put, I don't know, just Jamal, you clean. And we can put that up to a 50. Um, yeah, I don't know how you designate a break area, but I think it's anywhere with, like, a bench or something? Like, just like a couple of breakable, like, areas where people would just hang out. Oh, look at this. We don't have any, we already don't have, so far, no negative reviews. This is all I'm saying. We could go, we could get our bonus objective first. Like, let's not, you know what I mean? Let's not jinx it, but I, I definitely just did jinx it, let's be honest. Do I have enough money to sell these? Let's sell these. Can't do that one, but I can do this, this, and this. There we go. It'd be nice to put a little park in here or something, maybe? This could be an entrance or an exit. Some greenery. Can you do outdoor dining? We should find out if you can do outdoor dining. I'd love to be able to look through the items while the game is still running. Oh, but, uh, you know, sadly, that is not the case. Oh, man. Looks like Tracy's sick. Oh, she's not feeling well. Oh, crap. 
I think I might need to get rid of Tracy. I just don't... I don't know about a person who's just always, like, throwing up in the restaurant. Feel better, Tracy, I guess. We will replace you. More like... Yeah, Tracy, more like replacey. Am I right? <laughs> our stamina has had... Or our stamina... Our, our, our popularity has had a huge boost, so I'm feeling very amped up about that. It's just a matter of... Can we earn enough money to keep expanding? Not get too big for our britches, but really pull together a nice restaurant. Oh, there it is. We almost had, we're at 1700, so we're closed in a few hours here, or an hour or so. And we got, we finally got our first negative review. We almost got the bonus objective right on the first day. I kind of want to find this person and just kill them. Glenn Ryan, you jerk. I hate everything in the menu. This place looks amazing. <laughs> what does he like? He likes brown beans and fried ri- I, I gave you ribs. But he doesn't like spicy food and cream cheese. Glenn, get out of here, dude. Be more like Joel here. Who's just like a big fan of like the good stuff and doesn't hate anything. Like, Glenn, really raining on my parade here. Okay, we did have an entire customer group that left. I'm not sure why that was. I had to wait so long for my food. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. They were very upset. They were also waiting for the bathroom for a while. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna throw in an extra turtlet in there. And uh, not think about what happened with that table. So wait, what is slowing them down? Good lord, this place looks dirty. <laughs> at least this, at least the dining room is being kept clean. I mean, I guess this is kind of what restaurants look like sometimes. But I'm just not sure what's holding them down here. Customers eating, submitting orders. Two orders are being submitted. I don't know what slowed that whole table down. I'm wondering if it was that they were hung up waiting for the bathroom. But that's me shifting the blame, so we have yet to find out. But we certainly made a good amount of, a healthy amount of doubloons here today in, in day one. And it wouldn't be a classic uh, solid content episode if I didn't at least catch the entire restaurant on fire briefly. But hey, they put it out with a plum, and now we're ready to close out this day with our heads held sort of high, except for that one group that just got sent home. That is brutal. They say goodbye to each other, and they check out for the night. They actually did a good job of cleaning up before they left, so I, I really liked their cleanup job. Uh, the restaurant is looking kind of ready for the next day. Jamal has one last little panic before he leaves. I don't know why. His stress was at zero. Why was he... Okay, so I'll have to get that explained to me at some point. Very good. Positive reviews. We had a couple of... We, basically, the, the last... The third quarter there got really bad. But we had a pretty good boost in our, our initial uh, popularity. We made quite a lot of money, too. Let's just be honest. We made a fair amount of cash. So I think... Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try fried chili Charlie's. Okay, let's up the, let's up the menu then. Fried chili Charlie's. Let's go, let's make that 23 and see what we sell. Let's make mama's dish a bit more. And, uh, I'm gonna do my strategy. This is, I, I would call this, you would call this turtling in, in an RTS. Where I'm gonna stick around. You know what, maybe what I'll do is I'll upgrade to a deluxe, uh, you know, fryer or something. And the reason for that is because... Maybe it makes better food. I don't know. Plus one to stove when using this option. Object. So let's sell uh, this stuff. Wait, hang on. Let's get an idea of what was being used. So this was Vito and mostly Jamal and some Vito. Okay. Because we can get a plus one on the dish. That's going to bode well for us. So let's delete that and get a deluxe stove, which adds a plus one here. Uh, deluxe countertop would be nice. Um, what about these fryers? Deluxe deep fryer. It's just, it's less gross, and it's a plus one to fryer, and it's only 350 doubloons, so we're going to be down like $300 to do this to do this whole row. I also don't know if we need all three of these. Deluxe deep fryer. I mean, it just looks pretty cool, though. You know what I mean? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. So let's get Vito on this one. Uh, a couple of Jamals, and the second will be Bridget, and we're gonna get a first for Vito and a second for Bridget. Bridget has a lot of work on her hands, so let's not, you know, overload her here. Now we're dealing with a decent uh, restaurant, is what I would say, and I would kind of like to do a couple of more days at that revenue, see if I can't keep up those revenues, and then look at expanding 
uh, the restaurant. Basically, with this fourteen hundred, if we get this fourteen hundred dollar one, we can do a major expansion. And uh, basically, like compare it up with this, you're almost looking at kind of your late game restaurant to finish this off. So let's see how this day goes, and check in with the team later on. Things seem to be trundling along okay. We already, unfortunately, got a couple of negative reviews. That first day was so close to being a winner. That's unfortunate. Uh, however, we got a request for a recipe. Have you ever run a restaurant and had a customer come in, sit down, and be like, you know what you guys should make instead of the food you started a restaurant for? You should make boiled chicken breast. <laughs> I ate everything in the menu. This place looks amazing. Listen to me, Martin Aguilar. I will never throw a piece of chicken just in a boiling pot of water, okay? Unless I was making a stew, which I don't know how to make. Okay, Tracy, what's your popular kid? Could be good. Lower the stress of people in the room. Let's do that. Let's keep calming presences here, especially while you're putting out some fires. And you know what I think I need? I'm going to pause for a second here because it looks very much like I need a couple more fire extinguishers around. <laughs> there we go. There, now everybody can partake because we have three things on fire, so we should definitely get yeah, a couple of people helping out there. Oh, ingredient discount. Thanks, Vito. Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye because Tracy Dixon has reached a breaking point. Thoughts? I hate talking to people. Uh, you know what? Honestly, Tracy is starting to feel a little bit like a replacey. Replacey Dixon over here. We do have some things, some uh, level ups on her, which are doing good. Her stress is starting to go down. I just don't know why she hates talking to people. Maybe she should just be cooking, but she's not like the best cook ever. She's okay, to be honest. She might be better as just a cleaner. We could just demote her just to clean her, and then Bridget could only serve. Her charisma is just max out. And even though she's sickly, she's probably... Oh no, what's this? What are all these thumbs up? Okay, some people are waiting too long for their... Like, this recipe is... Or this one's taking way too long here. Um, customers waiting. Are they waiting to be... To receive their order? Like, what's going on here? Okay, there's a lot to pay attention to. But I think what I need to do... Is turn Tracy into a... This break area is ugly. We gotta clean up the break area. That's what we gotta do. Okay. We need to turn Tracy stat into some kind of um, cleaning person, I think. That's gonna keep her less stressed. Do I have any good staff? What do we have here? A four in serving, which is unfriendly. No dice. Annoying. That's not helpful. A klepto and a sickly person. Okay, it looks like the the, the, un, the negative traits are just piling up. I'm going to ignore them for today because we are still making a bit of money. So let's just keep pushing ahead uh, with the restaurant we have. There was another request for a recipe as well. Bra boiled brown onion on the menu. Um, and I think I have all those ingredients. So I'm actually just going to add it. Um, and let's take a look here. Boiled brown onion. A dollar, hey? Now let's gonna, we're going to go like eight... Uh, seven, six dollars. Okay. And, uh, we have all of the ingredients for it, I think. So I'm just gonna, I'll just leave that on the menu and see if anybody likes it. But no, I'm not doing the boiled, uh, boiled chicken breast. Okay, Samuel Burns did not like the price on that. Uh, um, whoops, okay, I gotta go and lower the, uh, boiled onion back down. Uh, there, it's a two dollar dish. I, I, like, is that, here, let's reset the price. It thinks it should just be, okay, fine, there you go. A one dollar boiled onion. Oh my goodness, we've had Tracy Dixon quit. She hates talking to people. I should have gone with my strategy of, um, of moving her over to just cleaning. Okay, well, Tracy Dixon's gone. Uh, that's not ideal, so we're gonna have to replace Tracy with somebody. Uh, maybe just a cleaner, I guess. We'll steal ingredients from- you know what? Honestly, stealing ingredients from time to time is not bad. We're gonna hire, uh, Justin. And I'm going to put Justin as a back of Hauser. And the reason for that is because we're going to go through here and we're going to get Bridget as the number one on all the tables. She now serves this entire restaurant. That's going to be stressful for her, I understand. Jamal will occasionally pop out. But now I'm taking her off cleaning detail. So we're going to take her off cleaning detail. And we're going to put Justin on here as first. Same thing here. Just Justin. Same thing here. Uh, Justin, and we'll put Jamal second for cleaning. Justin's main job? Cleaning. Now let's put him as a number, like, I don't know, uh, let's go out of cleaning. So let's put him as a number, like, well, what is he? Okay, let's take a look at Justin, first of all. What do we got? Um, 
He's a good oven guy. We don't really need that. We kind of just need to keep him as a cleaner. Honestly, he's just going to be a cleaner. Let's keep him as a cleaner for now, just to keep everything clean. And see if Bridget can handle uh, the workload. I think that she can. It's not that many tables. And now she has no other tasks. Aside from maybe hopping on the fryer for some weird reason. Everybody goes home. Talking briefly about Tracy quitting on us. Nobody likes that Tracy quit, but hey... That's her prerogative. Unfortunately, that's just how it is when you manage a restaurant. It's a little dirtier tonight, and we got a few more negative reviews. We did get a slight boost in our popularity, though, so I think things are okay. We did we did lose a little bit of income, didn't we? Renovations. Okay, yeah. So we're going to be careful about that. Um, the Fried Chili Charlie, which I increased in price, though, is still selling really nicely. So I think that's going to lead uh, to some, uh, some good... So let's sneak it up a bit. Uh, that's going to lead to some good profits here. We need to figure out how to get a dish above 100. I think it's mainly going to be a late game thing. It's going to happen once we get uh, some very leveled up staff members. It's a bummer that we lost Tracy because she was already starting to stack some pretty decent um, uh, power-ups, I suppose you could call them. But unfortunately, them's the breaks. Also, I'm taking brown, brown, boiled brown onions off the menu. I, I just, I don't get that recipe, and I don't like it, and it's gone. It's just gonna take up time. It's they're too busy boiling brown onions, and I want them to focus on the chili charlies. See, this is what I'm talking about. Jamal has now become an international chef. I could go with ads of random love action, but I'm gonna go international chef because that's gonna allow me uh, to up some of my prices, which I will do immediately. Oops, two dollar. No, this. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do that immediately just to keep the keep the creep going and see if I can't continue making cash and bank off of my popularity and Jamal's international recognition. Yeah. I've found another staff member here. Occasionally I check and the thing is like, you know, we don't really need another staff member, but this one's trait is connected, which means we get a, a order, a, a discount on ordered ingredients. He's a good server, uh, but he loves grilling and he's an amazing fryer. So I'm actually gonna hire this guy and put him in the back of the house. We'll move Justin to a front of Hauser, and he'll just wear whatever he wants. Uh, simply because Justin, yes, he's doing all the cleaning, and we're going to keep him doing that, of course. But, uh, you know, we want to keep our, our back of house separate here, so we, we, we kind of know. Now what I think I can do is I can boot uh, Bridget off of all of these, and we can move over to Kyle being the number one on these. That makes Vito even less busy. This is going to cut into our profits a little bit. However, um, I think it's going to lead to just a, a better overall restaurant experience. Now I'm going to boot Jamal off this. I'm going to put Kyle as a number two here and here. We're going to pull Jamal in, basically into the back. Uh, no, we can, well, we can keep Jamal. I think he likes occasionally talking to people, you know? But now... Oh, what was that? That horn sounded bad, but everything looked good. We did get a new request. What? Oh, no! I thought they had grilled pork ribs in the menu. Okay, well, let's add that. That seems good. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do por grilled pork ribs. Bridget wanted boiled brown onions, and I'm not putting a dollar menu item on here. I'm just not doing it. Okay, let's go into the menu editor here because I think we could do something with this gr uh, grilled pork ribs. Now, grilled pork ribs shouldn't look like that. They should probably look like... I mean, that's the closest we can get, so let's do that. I think we're. I think what I want to do with this is come up with a um, barbecue sauce, um, and I'm just gonna guess what that <laughs> what that is. To me, that's gonna be some honey. It's gonna be smoked paprika. Tex-Mex. <laughs> I don't know. There's gonna be some olive oil in there. Uh, there'd probably be some kind of a cream or something. And garlic. Oh, we've maxed it out. Let's get rid of the, uh, smoked paprika. Actually, no, let's put the smoked paprika back in because we have it. Uh, let's go back for the smoked paprika. Yeah, so that's gonna be kind of like a sweet, spicy, um, a tangy, uh, uh, this is actually honestly making my mouth water right now, so I think that's gonna be great. Oh, and it's fragrant. Yes. Um, grilled pork ribs. Kyle's. He's just, he's just got here. He's added this to the menu. He's like, I've got an idea. What about Kyle's pork ribs? Jamal, it's like, well, it's my family recipe. It's my family here, but oh, excuse me. Where did it go? Did I not save it? Oh, crap. Did I not save it? I always forget to save it. Okay. Here it is. Save. There we are. 
Kyle's pork ribs. There we go. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, I think Jamal is okay with it. He's like, no, no, this is okay because I, I like bringing in new ideas and new people, and I want them to feel uh, like they can make a contribution when they come to my restaurant. Let's go down on that. Let's lower our brown onion storage and our chili storage just to make a little more room. Uh, why can that not go lower? There we go. Make a little more room in the cupboards. Can I perform grill? Oh, we don't have a grill. Well, why did I do that? Oh, crap. I do have 800 doubloons. I guess we're adding a grill, folks. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention, and I guess... But it's, it's about time. If we're a restaurant, we might as well add a grill. We're going to go deluxe grill, though. Check it out. We're going to put it right here. On the end, like that. That's going to look good. Now, who are our grill people? I know we've got some... Oh, uh, let's put Kyle on the grills. It is his rib recipe, so we're going to do that for Kyle. All right, good luck, Kyle. Let's see how it goes. All right, it is 1826. However, Jamal is near a breaking point. Jamal cannot leave. Oh, my star rating's dropping quite low. What? What's happening? Okay, things are not going well for some reason. Uh, he's not feeling well, so I'm actually going to send him home because I do not want him to hit a breaking point. I sent him on a bunch of breaks, but his break stamina would max out and he'd go right back to work, whereas his uh, breaking point meter was not decreasing. So we've sent him home. It's the end of the day. I think Kyle uh, can fry out the rest of the time, uh, especially because we actually don't have any customers. Oh, boy. Okay. This has definitely gotten a lot more challenging. And people want bo oh, boiled brown onions. They keep wanting it back on the menu. Okay, fine. Boiled brown onions back on the menu for a dollar. Everyone happy? You can, we'll just boil some onions for you in a bowl. Good lord. Our popularity eked up slowly, um, but our average rating is not doing amazing. And our income is suffering as a result. Maybe I have too many staff. Maybe I went a bit heavy on staff. I'm not sure, but we are slowly, uh, slowly inching our way through this. There's nothing left to do, really. I have 600 doubloons. The people really like the restaurant. We could, we could, I guess, add a couple of windows or something. But for the most part, I think we just need to keep going through these days and uh, see if we can't just make it. Oh, I kind of want an awning, though, to be honest. Can I have that, please? Is there a straight one? Is there a straight awning? Oh, how about that? That was kind of classy. I like that. Okay. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's the only thing I needed to do. Let's go for a common wide window. Yeah, none of them really give a bonus radius or anything like that um, to happiness. So it's not like 100% worth it exactly. But I like the idea that people can like see into what's ever going on in the restaurant and maybe consider maybe consider coming into Jamal's rib joint for a couple of ribs once you see the nice ambient light pouring through. As you can see, dry capacity is full, but it's okay because it's full in an even way. Um, and I have lowered some of my orders here so that so once things get used up uh our dry capacity should kind of level out a little bit there all right so we're a little ways through day uh this uh day four i guess and as you can see his stamina his stress level is already maxing out i believe it's because of this not feeling well rating so i might actually have to send him home again uh, which will mean I'm going to have to put Kyle into a, a, a more uh, primary role here. I'm actually already... I'm going to switch Kyle around and put Jamal on as a second. He's just not feeling good, and I also don't want him to make other people not feel good. Bridget is not feeling well, but she's... I think she's the sickly one, isn't she? Yeah, she's sickly. She's also gained a short fuse. <laughs> okay, that is challenging. That is definitely tough. I would love... I don't know if I have enough money, but I would like to sneak in at least... A few more tables. Let's go to build mode. See what I can do here. Yeah, there's not much I can do as far as sneaking in more tables. I can get some more kitchen space. I don't want to buy this because it'll send me into some massive debt here. Uh, but I think I think rather than saving up a bunch and then expanding, is just expanding a little bit so I can kind of bring in a bit more, uh, a few more customers. Jamal's performing well, but he's getting very close to breaking. I don't want him to break and quit. I might have to send him home. We might have to get... Honestly, we might have to get rid of Bridget if she's making people sick all the time. Oh, short fuse went away, though. That's good. Uh, he's got a couple of levels up, so, like, stress tolerant. I made him a little more stress tolerant. The other thing I'm noticing here is... Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Phew. Okay, hopefully his stress can manage that now. I do notice he says, I'm paid less than I deserve. And that's... 
you know, I understand that. I'm just wondering, is there somewhere that I can give them raises? Staff. Oh, we can. Okay, great. Okay, well then let's obviously give them all raises. Vito is me. I love that I just work for free all the time. He, okay, he has to be earning more than Kyle. He's It's his restaurants. So we're going to go up to three there. 321, 338. Yeah, he was earning very little. And this is Jamal's restaurant. There you go. How about how about four bucks an hour? Which sounds so sad to say, but we're, so we're pretending this is a different world. Okay, that has helped... There we go. There we go. That's really helped his stamina. That's It's decreasing now. We've got him uh, back on top, I hope. Well, we've objectively completed... We've completed our, our objective 50% popularity. So today was a very good one, despite uh, Vito wanting to break any second now. Um, I don't know. Did we achieve our no negatives? No. I, we got close to a no negative reviews as well, as you can see by us uh, jumping up to 54%. Uh, and we did okay for money. I think, honestly, I think some of the um, uh, level ups are starting to stack on each other and help out. And I do think that things are settling in. We've got a team that's feeling a little bit better. Especially now that Jamal is actually making a serviceable amount of money, at least. Um, so let's see how this day panned out for us. Things were going well at the end of the day, right when a fire decided to get started. I guess fires put themselves out if everyone goes home, so that's good. However, now we have... Bridget with an I hate talking to people issue, even though she has a five of charisma. I hope going home will help her uh, because I am not sure what to do with that. Things are definitely, there we go. That's looking much better. But things are definitely getting a little bit spicier here. And I'm starting to get, uh, maybe it's turnover. Maybe I'm just getting people that just don't want to work anymore. So let's open for the day and see if Bridget still has, already her stress is going up and she has I hate talking to people. I don't know how to get rid of that or what we've done that gave her that. But Bridget, for a while there, was our only server, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. Kyle can also jump in and help. But Kyle was kind of our cleaner. Let's see if there's any servers around. Rebecca likes serving. She does have a short fuse and doesn't really like anything else. Jared's okay. Cleaning too, serving, and he's inspiring. I do kind of like that. He's two bucks an hour, too. I mean, he's pretty good. Now, this way, who is this? This is a foreign serving and loves doing stovetop. But she's she's also a bit of a klepto. Let's get Jared here. He can do some countertop stuff, too. But let's, let's, get, let's bring Jared in, at least for a bit. And let's put Jared as a first on all these tables. And I don't know. Try to give Bridget a break today, I guess? I, I just I don't know what to do with her. I don't know what to think about... Uh, about Jared not wanting to do any work. Uh, I mean, Bridget. Um, so I'm going to switch this around. We're going to give Bridget a, at least a couple of rooms to work on. Uh, we got to level up here. Okay, Jamal wants to level up. International chef. Oh, that could be good, though, if he kind of cools people down. Uh, remove hated for the oven. That's not useful to us. So let's make him a calming presence because I really want people to just stay happy while they're working here. Okay, Bridget, we've got off talking to people. Again, not sure how to get rid of that negative buff. She has, she's supposed to be the talk to people person. I think we just leaned on her too much, so we'll see if this goes away today. She's not feeling well. She doesn't like talking to people. She's she's become useless over the past couple of days, so I've decided to send her home for the day, especially because she's about to break anyway and wasn't doing anything. So I'm not sure what's going on with Bridget, but thank goodness we have Kyle. I mean, Jared. <laughs> and Kyle. Thank goodness we have Kyle and Jamal and Jared and everybody, but still, got to keep an eye on these people. This is certainly getting tough. Well, there you have it. Another fine day completed. We made a decent amount of money, but not enough to buy this land yet. And I've got two strategies here. Two Strategy number one, um, you know, we just do as is tomorrow. We run tomorrow. However, take a look at this. This place looks relatively clean. Place looks amazing. Good. But look at this. Jonathan f gives me five stars. So does Tanya, of course. Saying that uh, this place is relatively clean, but the golden ribs were very cheap, and they would pay more. This makes me think that yes, our our um, our uh, little um, what do you call it? Our our, our our little power ups are giving us a steady boost in our ability to charge more. So I'm definitely going to boost the price of this as we edge closer to having a hundred dollar item on the menu. 
But one other strategy I've come up with here, I want to see if this works, but it could cost me a lot of money. So I have a bit of money saved up. I'm wondering what happens is if, uh, so for example, we got 12% negative comments today. Not ideal. Menu lacks the dishes I like, which is a tough one. Jared was rude, which Jared, don't be rude. Uh, boiled brown onion was just okay. I, okay, that I don't want to serve boiled brown onions. <laughs> but here's what I'm thinking. If we have a day that's going okay, let's just close at lunch. Won't that count as a one day without a negative review? So let's see what happens if we try that this time. See if we can't get that bonus objective. And then unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap this up uh, in part two of this chapter. Oh no. Oh no. You know what? Bridget? Uh, we got to get rid of you. Bridget, I am so sorry. You have a lot of power-ups, which are very great, but you're making people sick. You come to work, and your stamina is maxed out already. I, I think we're... I, th I sent you home. I gave you a day off. You're making everybody sick. I think we got to get rid of you. Okay, is there one more front of house? We also s proved that with Justin, we can actually serve okay. Has a tendency to get sick. Yeah, you are a problem, to be honest with you. But we don't have any other servers. Alice Nichols is insecure. Ah, oh, can't serve. But her serving is four. She's the... Ah, oh, something must have happened to her. Okay, close. Serving five. Cleaning is three, two, and a short fuse. Um, we're going to go with Rebecca. We're putting Rebecca in the front of house. And Bridget. I'm so sorry, but we got to let you go. You don't like talking to people. You don't like talking to people. We could we could have put you on cooking, but we have already too many cooks, and you're making everyone sick. Today could be a bad day, in fact, because everyone's feeling a bit sick. So it's just not going to work for us, and you're fired. Rebecca, let's pull you up. Let's give you these two tables over here. So let's get we're going to put Rebecca on that. I don't know what those are. Those must be the people sitting at it. Um, and we're going to go uh, Rebecca here. Jamal, we'll keep you with that table. That's fine. Jared, let's put uh, Rebecca on that. And we'll put Jamal as a second on this one. There we go. So we have decent serving. Now we just need to make sure... I think Justin's our cleaner. Honestly, the restaurant has been staying uh, just absolutely sparkling clean. So I think it's worth it. Now who's this? Rebecca's sick? <laughs> Rebecca, why are you sick? Oh, no. And she's unfriendly. We'll avoid conversation altogether. Oh, who have I hired? When did this trait show up? I did not see that trait when I hired her. Oh, my goodness. We've got to let her level up, though. Jamal and Vito and maybe even Kyle, I think, are just pulling this together. Uh, let's add a random love action. Oh, serving. You know what? Honestly, we might have to phase Jamal into a more heavy serving role. And maybe we get rid of Rebecca. I don't know if she... Oh, she got rid of that trait, though. She's back. She's back. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're going to keep an eye on Rebecca. We'll give her a couple of days. But unfortunately, some firings had to happen. And Bridget and things had to go. We've made it to lunch. And I don't see any negative reviews. Oh, no, wait. Day five. Oh, we, haven't, we don't have any reviews yet. Okay, so here's hoping we don't get any negative reviews. And in the next couple of hours, if we don't, I might just attempt closing the restaurant early. In prepping for my strategy of closing early, it did start raining, so it is nice to feed people. But I'm pretty sure that if I close early, all these tables get sent home. I'm like 80% sure that that's going to be a bunch of bad reviews saying that they got kicked out because we closed early. So it's a good experiment. I might just save the game and try it. Um, but for right now, I kind of want to see, like, I don't know, can this be a perfect day? It's been all positive reviews, nothing less than four stars. Can we make it through? We've got a few hours left. Can this be our perfect day? Let's find out. We are coming up on 18, we're coming up on 1900 hours, which is technically closing. We, Jared was rude, but the place looking amazing kept Teresa to a happy review. Uh, none of my dishes were served, but uh, Rebecca was nice to Tracy, so I think... This potentially could be our first day with no negative reviews. The restaurant is on fire, which will certainly garner some uh, ill impressions unless they get that under control uh, very fast. I'm very concerned because I really just want to end the day with a, a review that, uh, with no negative reviews. 
We do have people waiting outside. They've been sent home. But they don't they don't leave negative reviews. I don't think you're allowed to leave negative reviews if you're not even going to set foot in the restaurant. The cleaning is starting to slow down, which is certainly going to affect our ambiance. It doesn't appear to be, but we don't know. And each, any second now, these last people here could give us a bad review. And if they do, they're going to be the first bad reviews of the day. Can we get our bonus objective before beating the rest of the game? Okay, they are eating. It looks like they're happy. Now they all need to go to the bathroom immediately after eating. So I think that's a good sign. We're at 88% popularity. This restaurant is always full, so we just need a bit more money and we can start our expansion. Two more good reviews. Here's the last three people. Come on. Show us you like us. Three middling-ish reviews. 91% on popularity. That has to be it. What are you... Oh, no. One last customer. No, nope. That's somebody cleaning. I don't think we're taking any more filings. Filings? You know, your seedings, I guess, is what I tried to say. And there you have it. Come on. Give me that bonus objective. I hope we got it. And this has been a very... Wait, wait, what? When did I get... Oh, wait, so I never... <laughs> I guess... What? I don't remember seeing those in my list. I saw no negative reviews. Oh, that is very upsetting to me. Well... I guess we have to keep going and try to get that some other time. I got, oh, no, we did get the bonus. Oh, we did get it. Okay, so they just showed us... They showed us negative reviews in general. That must have been... That must have been over a period of time. I wasn't paying attention. However, we do now have the money, if we're careful, we do have the money to buy this plot. Not enough money to expand into it just yet, but we're going to buy this plot for 1,400 doubloons. We now own a fair amount of this land. And what are we going to do with that land? Well, we're going to seat some people, we're going to feed some people, and we're going to wow some people. I hope you found this episode to be some truly solid content, because now uh, when we come back, we're going to have some money saved up, and we are going to build the expansion that this restaurant deserves and finish off the rest of these objectives. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next video of Recipe for Disaster. Yes, Justin Clean, Kyle Cook, Vito, Stove, Fires, don't happen. We can do this.